Hello, chlorophyll's the name. Banished is the game. Let's get back to it. So, I kind of want to build more markets because they're going to keep our storage barns from filling up too much, although that one's still full of fish and this one is still very full and this one's going to be very full. Ah, oh, hospital. Let's turn it off. There we go. Okay. Chickens are over here. There's a house. Another storage barn. So I would like another market. I'm just not sure where to put it because this one covers most of our population. There's just a few people over here and that's about it. Everyone else is covered in this circle. I mean, there's this guy, but it's fine. So I don't actually think we need another market, even though I want one. So there's that. We have so much food. Holy cow. Uh, let me get some more stone cutters in more miners as well. I'm going to try to maintain three laborers at this point because I like laborers. Oh yeah, I need to replenish these guys that are lacking. So let's get a forester. Get two foresters. Let's actually drop stone cutters down to four and fill up our foresters. And then we need another fisherman. And we're going to need one more, so I'll drop a miner and get another fisherman. Now all my rolls should be full as they're supposed to be. Yes. Okay. Except for the miners and the stone cutters, which you know, essentially just fill up until they're there. So, uh, seven students, twelve students. So we're getting close to capacity again with the schools, but neither of them are individually close to capacity, so we're good. If I were to build another school, I'd put it up here. I think up here is going to grow into a big area. Okay, let's see. Another stone cutter. Our blacksmith is doing a surprisingly good job at handling all the tools we need, despite being the only one in town. Because we're still like 20, 25 tools ahead. I didn't want to do the actual math. We're, we're doing good on tools, like we're still making more tools than we're using. Which, eventually, that'll tip over. It's like, probably when we get nomads, it'll tip over. And then I'll need another blacksmith. Which... I'll put it over here by the mine, probably. Maybe over here by the market. Would one fit in there? Would a blacksmith fit by the market? Oh, it would. That's very nice. It's a good spot. I'll put it there, but I'll pause it because we don't need it yet. Let's see. Let's see. School, hospital. I get a church, a chapel. We have sheep. We do not need your sheep. Although, thank God, it was not a food merchant. The issue is we don't have very much stone. Chapel takes up 130 stone and we have 150, which is not good. We do not want a chapel yet. And our happiness is pretty good, so we don't really need a chapel. We've gone full circle around this area, which is nice. We've hit all these, these places. Our sheep are almost full again in this area, which is nice. Fisherman, fisherman, herdsman, herdsman, fisher. I'm gonna look at the paths. I wanna see where these people are living. Okay, these people are living close. That's close enough. That one's kind of far. Those are just laborers. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Is this guy still on the other side of town? No. Good. That one's good. These guys are good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You know, I don't think anyone has to go too far, which is which is good, you know? You don't want them walking too far. These guys are kind of far, but there's not really that many houses that are closer, so I can't complain. And these guys are probably walking pretty far as well, but not too far. Yeah, everyone's in the right area, like where did I expect them to be? Nobody's crossing town like the, this fisherman was doing a few episodes ago. Maybe many episodes ago. I've lost track of time. The issue with Banish is I can literally play it for eight hours straight, and I'm only starting to notice now because I've been talking the entire time I've been playing it, because this has all been one session. Like, it's probably been weeks for you, but it's been several hours for me, and my voice is starting to get raw. The reason I'm doing this this way is because I am currently on spring break and I'm going to go back to school 
and at school I have a roommate and it's hard to record with a roommate. I don't want to get interrupted and I don't want to have to stop in the middle of an episode and come back later if she comes back because my room is her room and it's not fair to be like, hey, you know, try to kick her out of her own room. That's not nice. So I do it this way. If I record a bunch of episodes before I go back to school, I can continue to have constant episodes, even if I recorded them all in one night. <sighs> it's a horrible idea, but it won't be the same. Like over the summer, I'll be able to record more often and not all at once. And then over, well, not over, uh, next year, I'll have my own, my own room. And then I won't have to worry about it because, you know, I'll have my own space. So it'll be good. Let's see. Let's get some more stone cutters. A little tangent there. Another stone cutter. There we go. Okay. Maybe another couple miners. That's good. Our food is starting to catch up. Fuel and tools are still good, but our food is catching up. There's another merchant coming. Let's see what he wants, and then I'll go solve the food issue. Merchant has arrived. Walnut seeds. I'll pass. Do not need walnut seeds. Let's see. Maybe like a fishing post in this area. Let's see. I don't really think it's gonna fit though. It's kind of close to that one. I mean, it fit there. I just don't know how useful that is. And it's really close to that one, so maybe not. Maybe not. We do need more food though. Now, it's because I got rid of those farmers. So maybe we just relocate the farms. Put them over here. They'll work over here. Uh, we'll make them 8x8, because the 8x8s were working quite well. Actually, we'll make them 8x9. Why not? 8x10? 8x10. Eight by ten would be that size. I think that's a little big. We'll make them 8x8. Eight 8x8. By eight. Eight by eight. Eight and eight by eight. There we go. Build a path going up to like right there. Okay. Get another builder. Uh, we're gonna have to drop some miners and some stone cutters to have farmers, but it's okay. It's spring, so I'm gonna try to get them started. Actually, I'll put two on that one just so that that one gets started, but I won't start the other ones until later on. Yeah. I hope they do start. I don't think they will. Fortunate. No, no, are they? Oh no, it was just the guy building the path. Oh no, they are. There they go. Look at them. Yay. The other ones I think it's a little late for, but those two can go ahead and build that farm. And then the other ones I will start in the... forgot to start the timer. I'll start them in the uh, autumn when they definitely won't start them. I'm going to say it's been seven minutes since I started this episode. Hopefully I'm right. So there's that. Uh, I don't really know what to do with up here yet, but we are filling up this place quite nicely. We can go over here still. In fact, I wouldn't mind building a tunnel like right there. That'd be neat. I don't really have the stone for it yet. Eventually we'll have it. This is going well. I like this market. I'm, I'm glad I switched it out. I mean, the farms are nice, but the market is making things run so much smoother, I'd like to think. Look at them all, the market people. Look at all those chickens. That, that storage barn is kind of empty. That one's less full. See, I think that's why our storage barns were getting so full. That one's still 100% full. 100% full of fish. I mean, it's not all fish. It's like half fish, but still. Well, it's not half fish, it's mostly fish. And then there's a little bit of other stuff in there. Like I said, that storage barn probably smells really bad. 5,000 fish. That's a lot of fish. Some of them are probably several years old, too. Iron tools and ale. I don't need either of those. You can go on. What am, what am I looking for from the merchants? I want squash still. I, I still want squash. Um... them go. They're going to harvest just on time. There they go. Perfect. So I'm not going to turn those on yet. I'm going to wait until they finish harvesting. 
What the hell? Our Taylor has run out of hide. Except I don't know why, because... Oh, no, those are... That's probably wool. Okay, go ahead and make some wool coats. Go ahead and make some wool coats. Once we get cows, we can make the warm coats, but for now we'll make wool coats. I assume that's what the textiles are that we have. 17 wool there. Oh, we hit our, hit our fuel limit again. Up it goes. 108 there. Okay. Let me get a few more people in my mines and my quarries. Look at all those deer. Okay. I'm going to look at my paths again. I wonder where this guy's working. He's working on the other side of the river because these guys are working over there. Which makes sense. I've totally invaded the circle with this whole section here, but it's fine. It's fine. So... Okay, we're 2,000 ahead on food, 1,000 ahead on fuel, and 30 ahead on tools. Although we have used no stone? Oh, no. We've, we, we're, we're improving on stone. Wait. Wait a minute. Used, produced. Okay, okay, we're fine. Yeah. Essentially, that's where we're at. We want this number to be lower than this number, and it is. So, good stuff. I've closed my worker tab. There it is. Good stuff. I've clicked a person. Okay. These are still going down slowly. Pardon me? You know, we're doing so well with tools. And we're starting to get more people. I think we might make a coal mine somewhere. Because then we can make better tools. And then we shouldn't have any problem at all. And then that can be what the the other place makes. In fact, we can put the mine over there. There? Sure. Yeah, why not? All the houses are over here, so that makes sense. There. So we're going to have a mine right here. It's kind of in the circle. It's definitely in the circle, but I'm not too worried about it because it's in the mountain and the trees don't really grow on the mountain, so it's fine. And then we can start having some coal miners instead of just these miners. In fact, I'm going to drop this down to five total at all times. Nope, nope, that's not what I meant. So there will only be five miners in that mine, and then anything over five will be in this mine, and we will get coal. And then I can have this blacksmith build the steel tools rather than the iron tools, which the steel tools are supposed to last longer, which is good. Oh, yes, right. Uh, this one is corn, so this one should also be corn and pumpkin and pumpkin. And then I want each of them to only have one farmer on them, and then I need two more farmers. I'm going to drop my stone cutters down to five. There we go. Okay, we have a merchant. Firewood and leather. We're good. Okay. So. So. Look at all those chickens. We're doing so good. Over here. Oh, we forgot to split the chickens. That's why there's so many over there. Okay. Split. Now, ready for the march of the chickens? Come go. Oh, they're all like single file. That's cute. Oh, no. Those guys. Those guys aren't. Gonna follow them chickens. Oh, don't drown. Oh no, they're in the river. Why didn't you take the bridge? No, ma- Oh. Oh, look at them. We have nomads. How many nomads? 16 nomads. I'll take 16 nomads. Now, the thing with taking nomads is sometimes they have diseases. So I'm going to turn on the hospitals preemptively. That's not the right word. Priam. Pre I forget what the word is. I'm just not going to say it because it's, I'm going to say it wrong. I have nomads. I have ten laborers now. I can make them... Oh, they don't have homes. I forgot to build a boarding house. That was what I was going to do. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, guys. Is this a good spot for a boarding house? Maybe. Mm, I feel like I can do better. I don't want to put it there, though. You know what? Right here is a fine spot for a boarding house. 
They can build their own house. It's it's spring. They won't get cold. Okay. Build away, my children. Build away. And then I can actually put normal houses in as well. Let's see. Because I'm building a mine there, so I should probably have more houses in this area. Not necessarily next to the mine, because it'll disrupt my forestry. But in this general area would be a good idea. Over here. there. That's okay. Look at all these homeless nomads. I'm sorry I forgot to build the uh, the boarding house. Died of old age. That's sad. At least they lived a long and happy life. So that should be enough houses to house all my nomads and make up for all the houses I haven't built recently. Because it's been a long time since I built any houses. I keep forgetting. It's fine. The boarding house is getting done. That's good. My nomads won't be homeless next time I take some in. Are my schools doing okay? 7, 13? Yeah, that's fine. Nope. Oh. What happened to all my miners? Oh, the other mine opened. That's what happened. Pause. You are a coal mine, and you max out at 10. Actually, 5? Here's the thing, it's going to split it evenly between my mines, which I didn't really think about. So, do 5 and 5. That seems fine. And the nomads I just got can work in my mine. There we go. So, that place is done. They're going to produce steel tools and I will get another blacksmith. Where are they? Right there. Okay. So this guy's not going to have work for a while, but it's okay because this one will keep up with demand. But then we'll have better tools and eventually when I, we have enough tools that I'm comfortable, I will switch this one over to do the, the steel tools as well. Do not need as many builders. They have built all the houses. Okay, there's like one more family living in there, so I really just need to build one more house. I'll build it up in here. This is a fine spot. There you go. And, you know, oh, we've hit the limit again. Let's go up to 8,000 and then put more in my trading place. I think I'd still trade for iron and stone if a merchant came with iron and stone. I'm just going to keep upping this until it's at 2,000, which, yeah, is a lot of firewood, but we have a lot of firewood, so it's fine. I don't see an outbreak happening from the nomads, which is good. Ah, uh, we've hit our limit. Go up. Although, let's see. We're good food-wise, we're good fuel-wise, we're really good fuel-wise, actually, and we're good tool-wise. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Okay. I really like the, the market. I like all the people with wheelbarrows walking around. I, f I always forget about the market, but then we have it, and it's nice because you can see all the stuff we make. Hello. Did you come with the stuff I need? You didn't. Please leave. I need... I need the merchants to come with iron and stone. That is what I would like to buy. Because like I can keep harvesting it. I guess I guess I'd get coal as well. Coal would be nice. Hmm. Let's put some more people in my stone cutting place. And some more I'm gonna up my coal limit before it becomes a problem, and I'm gonna up this to And then put another five people in there and actually drop that down to eight. There, we are good now. Cool. So, our town is growing so well. The small world is less small than it started out, although it's still quite small. Ooh, it's snowing real hard. I have to go down. You, you start lagging if you zoom out too much. So, 
I don't zoom out too much. So yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. A lot of people are crossing this way. Which I wouldn't mind getting them a path, but I don't know if I can fit a path. I'll do that. That's fine. I'll do that. I don't know if they'll use it, but it'll be there. So they can use it if they'd like to. Got two graveyards. Neither of them are too full, so that's good. Nobody's living in our boarding house, which is good. It means we got everyone a home. Which means our population will grow. Yeah, we're still about a thousand ahead on food, which does mean we should up food again. Which I should do. Let's see. Oh, we hit our tool limit. Proceed. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to put some farms over here. The 8 by 8 farms. 8 by 8. There we go. 8 by 8. Built by a cave -in. That's sad. Oh, my timer's going off. Let me... Hang on. Let me finish putting my farms in. I'm going to put in four of them. Just like that. Okay. And then like a nice little path going down to there. I'll actually build one going up that. Actually, that's a that's not going to work. Okay. Anyway, that's enough for this episode. Uh, if you... I don't know what I'm saying. That's enough for this episode. Leave a like. Remember to subscribe and go get some sunshine. I'll see you next time.